guys, this is Autumn from Island Heart Vintage. I've got a fun small project going on this weekend. I keep wanting to do big projects, but I'm actually working during the shutdown quarantine time. I have two trays here. There was a painting on the middle of this and I sanded it down so that it wouldn't show through. And then this door was a brand new cabinet door in beautiful condition and I really didn't want it to look so perfect. So I banged it up a little bit and sanded it. I've got these really cool candles that I'm gonna put on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get started on that. I'm planning on doing some DIY paint and I'm not very good at blending, but I'm going to try that. And I have some discontinued stencils that I got from Jamie Ray Vintage. So we're gonna see how those look. Looking forward to the weekend. I measured and drilled the holes for the handles, then attached one handle to make sure it was in the right position. Then I took the handle off and got started on the project. I found the oval tray at BB. That's what I call Value Village. The cabinet door was in my daughter's classroom. She's a teacher and she passed it on to me. I had a business in Hawaii where I was doing a natural food demo business, so I was hoping to start that back up when I moved here. Things don't work the same over here. Oopsie. I used some DIY dark and decrepit patina so that when I rubbed the paint back to give it the distressed look, I'd have a dark color showing through. This is my first time ever blending. I've been watching people like Dion and Melanie from Windmill Vintage Designs. So I'm going for it. And I practiced a little bit on a paper plate, so I think it's gonna be good. I usually use way too much paint. So I'm gonna try and have a lighter hand, because of course that saves paint and makes it easier to distress. So I'm going around the edges with my version of navy. I love me some cherry picked. I haven't put on any water yet, but I like what's going on here. It's a pretty slick surface. Maybe that's why I'm doing okay without water yet. I'm not sure. Let's try it. Thank you, Debbie, for making this amazing paint and encouraging everybody, creating a community. I loved what you said about Shelly Andrade from Shizzle Designs today, because you and Shelly were two of my first people that I'd watch, and when I had trouble with a piece, you'd always answer my questions. I so appreciated that. The oval tray was a little darker than I wanted it, so here I'm reactivating the paint by spraying it with the Mr. Bottle and adding DIY Queen Bee to give it a nice glow. After drying, I wet distressed them with a damp rag, let them dry again, then sealed with DIY Big Top. I thought I'd do a blooper roll. While I was filming that last little segment, my tray rolled off the table and broke. So I'm gonna have to fix it, but I can do that. I cut out the piece of the transfer that I wanted to use. It's large and can be easily cut up to use on several projects. Here I'm placing it where I want it. Make sure to leave the white backing on your transfer until you're ready to apply it. I used some painter's tape to hold it in place, then carefully removed the backing. A plastic tool comes with the IOD transfer. Use that to rub the stencil until it releases from the plastic and adheres to your piece checking from time to time to see that it's all adhering. If there's a piece of the transfer still on the plastic, just lay it down and keep rubbing. Some of my paint came off on the plastic, which was fine. It added to the vintage look. I wanted to add the stem and leaves from the pink flower, so I was able to cut out another piece and rub it on.
sometimes things don't work the same on the mainland as they do in Hawaii. When I got here, they just wanted to pay me an hourly rate to go into their stores. I worked for Weston Maui and Kanapali for 10 years. It was one of my favorites. I worked in the banquet industry. My husband and I both had that experience, and when we moved here, we needed jobs, and we started working for the hotels. I did end up getting a job downtown, but then a weird thing happened. They wanted all the employees to critique the other employees. There was a lot of bad blood after that. During that time, I had an idea to open a daycare. I had never planned on opening a daycare, but I always loved being around children. I loved doing crafts. It was always near and dear to my heart. And I had no idea what it would take to open a daycare. I was renting a place at the time. I didn't know if it would be a money maker or not. It really didn't matter. That's what I do now. Is out of adversity came this great thing that enabled me to raise my family. Be home with my kids. Out of adversity, you're gonna be strengthened and often come the seeds of what's gonna really work for you in the future. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Aloha.